Do you know what separates the successful Amazon sellers to the rest? Well, the answer should not surprise you, and that is that they leverage off Amazon traffic and build an audience on their own. In this video, I will show you how to properly set up your off Amazon marketing funnel using Google AdWords, Landing Cube, and also Amazon Attribution. By the end of this video, you should be able to create a proper off Amazon funnel that produced not only the off Amazon traffic sales, but also be able to get an email and also set up the brand referral bonus. I'm Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and the face of Landing Cube. And if you enjoy content such as this, where we completely geek out on anything Amazon FBA, I invite you to subscribe. Okay, so before we start, I go through the entire process of how we create this funnel. I assume that you would have the following accounts. Number one, the Google AdWord accounts and Amazon attribution account, which comes with your Amazon advertising account, Seller Central, and also have a landing page software. So we're gonna use uh, Landing Cube uh, as, a, as an example here, um, obviously. Uh, it's also good for you to have an email marketing software as well. So basically you have a way to collect the emails that you squeeze out from this funnel. So the steps are as follows. Number one, we are going to create an Amazon attribution link. Number two, we're going to create a landing page and we are going to also create a bunch of single use codes as a lead magnet to be able to get an email from our traffic. And number three, we're gonna set up the Google AdWords account to basically bring the off Amazon traffic to our landing page. So let's start with the uh, Amazon attribution accounts. So to go to the Amazon attribution, you're just gonna go to your Amazon advertising accounts and that would be under measurement and uh, reporting Amazon attribution. You're gonna create a campaign for this particular funnel. And then I'm just gonna call it, um, I don't know, create manual Google. AdWords, the landing cube. And you're gonna select your product. I'm gonna sell this like baby monitor mount right here. Select it. And now I'm gonna open the link of the actual product Sorry, display page. And then the ad group. Um, so I'm gonna just need to use one ad group. So ad group landing cube. Right, so that's our landing page. So publishers, well, that would be Google AdWords. Search is automatically selected, and then you're gonna click on the click through URL. You're gonna select basically the destination URL. So, this is the product we're gonna sell, and that's it. You don't, um, so in this example, I'm not gonna create an extra ad group, but you know, if you're actually using testing different strategies, different audiences, then you could, you're free to add a different ad group. But for different types of traffic from different channels, uh, such as you want from, from I don't know, YouTube, social um, media. Uh, influencers, TikTok, Facebook ads, I suggest you create an entirely new Amazon attribution campaign for those. So you're gonna create, and upon creation, it's gonna give you an attribution, Amazon attribution link for this particular ad group right here. So you're gonna save that, and then we're gonna put that later in our landing page. So let's move on to step number two, and that is to create a landing page using Landing Cube, and also create single use code coupons. Okay, so let's just create, let's go to Landing Cube. Uh, let's see what it is. So Landing Cube, sponsor of this video um, and basically this channel. So basically you're gonna enter your ASIN and a few clicks of one, you create a very nice crisp landing page for you to use for your off Amazon traffic. So example of this landing page, if you actually go to demo, and then um, the way that you actually collect an email from your audience is actually click on claim code. Once they click on claim, uh, let's just say Rick, Rick at Landing Cube. Claim. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So basically, um, you know, you could uh, have it accessed through their uh, inbox or basically um, you could also have the actual code appear right after they entered their uh, email address. Very cool. So let's uh, set up our landing page. So I've already have a account set up with landing cube. So for the people that are interested in using landing cube for their off Amazon traffic, uh, I will send a link below here. 21 day free trial. 
Okay, once you log on to Lightning Cube, uh, the dashboard looks this way. Uh, I'm gonna like delete my previous campaign, so there's no confusion. So create a new campaign. You're gonna just create this, uh, you know, click on this top right button right here. So the actual page that you just saw on demo is basically the promo landing page. Basically, this is our most popular landing page type because it allows you to grab your customer, uh, your potential traffic information, such as uh, the email. And then you are going to basically um, you know, put the URL of your product, ASIN. So plunk it in and basically it'll scrape all the data such as photos and also the price, et cetera. So let's just like call it, uh, let's call it the same thing as our uh, Amazon attribution campaign right here. Okay, so you see like the price, the actual uh, regular price that it's selling at, uh, the actual discount, and also the sales price after the discount. So my suggestion, and also uh, based on Lightning Cube data, is that you probably uh, should not uh, use percent off like less than 30. Uh, I think the sweet spot is basically around 30 to 50%. Those are the ones that are the most attractive. Anything higher than that, uh, actually it has like a kind of like a diminishing return because maybe uh, from what we guess is that the customer thinks that it's too good to be true and thinks it's a scam. So I think the sweet spot is around like 30 to 50% uh, off. So you can see it like the percent off and it's also calculated dynamically. So if I want to increase it 35, this number will change dynamically. So let's just, just change it to 30 for now. Save and continue. Okay, so you have four themes to choose from and uh, these four themes have been tested by Landcube. These are known to be able to convert. So I wouldn't really change too much about them. Maybe you could refine them. Maybe you could put your personal touch, but in terms of where the elements are placed, these are very strategically built uh, landing pages. Basically they're built to convert based on tons of data that we see in the past. Okay, so you can see, um, you know, if uh, the customer click on claim, so there is also uh, a timer right here, uh, the percentage off, and also it also scrapes the top Amazon on reviews right you can also add like your video if you have it so you're going to save and continue here you're going to add your email provider so if you don't have an email provider we will still collect the email and you could export it anytime so these are the email provider that we support mailchimp active campaign aweber convert kit get response zapier drip and clavio and so basically you could like connect with those then the email will go automatically to your list you can also set the promo email settings. Uh, basically, this is like the email that they will get after entering their email. And uh, you can also do a follow up uh, sequence. Uh, how many days after um, they've opened their email? This one right here could actually do a like a review follow up if you choose to enable that. And then under the inter integration, right, you could add your uh, Facebook pixel. If you just say, if you want to remarket them again, using uh, Facebook ads and then uh, Google analytics tracking. So you can actually do that here. Um, you know, your uh, UA code and other different tracking as well. So I think you just like go with the default settings and then uh, save and continue. Lastly, you're going to get the single use coupon code. So how do you do this? Basically you're going to follow the instructions here. Let's just like go through it quickly. Uh, it's going to go to, so it's going to ask you to go to um, promotions, percentage off, create, and then it's going to ask here, you're going to put one uh, pro product purchase. Uh, so I think that would be, okay, so that would be this one right here. It should be this one right here. You're going to select that and then percentage off, um, percent off, so you're going to put like three. We set a budget. So I think, um, you know, uh, 5,000 for this should be more than enough. So here, this is important, you're gonna press like single use. And then in single use, uh, make sure, make sure this one is not checked. So if you have it checked, it's gonna show on your um, product display page. You don't want that to your to the general traffic on Amazon. So you're gonna press single use, and then when it's gonna end, uh, so you're gonna like, you know, put that to uh, up to like a few months ahead. Um, and then uh, you're gonna click on review, submit. And then you're gonna go back to your promotions, uh, promotion status uh, pending. So the other one that you just created right here, you are gonna click on it. You're gonna go to manage claim codes and then uh, how many claim codes that you're gonna create. So let's just say you wanna create like 200 at a time. Just uh, give it any name, create, and uh, refresh it. There we go. So we're gonna download. Okay, so this is the file right here. I'm gonna extract it to like this one right here. 
here. And that's it. So you are, so you're going to add your promo code. And then uh, basically that would be this one that I just download. And then uh, daily uh, promo coupon. This is to limit the daily coupon. So it won't get out of control. Uh, let's just say at certain days that you have a lot of uh, redeemers. So let's just like limit that to 10 a day. On the final destination, you are not going to select plain Amazon uh, product URL. You are going to do any URL and you are going to be using the Amazon attribution link that we've created earlier under attribution tag. And then you are going to plunk it on the redirect URL. Keep in mind that you could also add multiple URLs as well. And uh, basically it would uh, randomly rotate if you do so. So that's pretty neat. And then, uh, yeah, so you could like create like a kind of like a slug, customized slug, but I think I'm good with this. And then you're gonna click on publish. Aha, so upon publishing, it's gonna give you the URL of the landing page. And you can see like once I click on claim coupon, right? So let's just say, you know, my email address, right? Okay. Once that happens, I would get the single use code, code coupon and then I could redeem it when the customer try to purchase it on Amazon. I didn't set up email software. So even though you set up your email software or you don't, it would also show up on landing keep under customer tab right here as well. Yeah, so you're not missing out on any data if you don't actually connect with an email responder. Okay, so that is a completely uh, set up the landing page. Let's go to your Google AdWords uh, account and set up your uh, first campaign on Google AdWords. So you're gonna go to Google AdWords, assuming you know you have it all set up, you are gonna click on the plus sign right here. You're gonna go to web traffic uh, and then continue. Let's go to search. So the name, I'm gonna use the same name as uh, here. start new. Uh, so these are the whole campaign I've finished. I'm going to focus on traffic and clicks. Set the maximum cost per click. I also think it's important. Uh, so I'm going to put 1.5. So you also want to control your cost per click and also your uh, campaign budget as well. You don't want uh, the actual spend to be out of control. You want to control it and basically tear it up if things goes well. So this is an experiment for me. There's a chance that this funnel might not work out for you. But it's a let's see let's give it like a five dollar a day budget to test and also a cap of a dollar and fifty cents uh, cost per click okay so since your link is uh, dot com then you can put like us only united states and then uh you're gonna click on next okay so you're gonna enter your keywords so um i would guess at this, at this point you kind of know what keywords that you're gonna use so i already did some research ahead of time i grabbed my um amazon ppc search term report and then I did some analysis and figured out this three keywords are my top converting keywords. And then that's the keywords I will in turn use in my um, AdWords account. And also um, of note, uh, you know, you can see like a different match type on Amazon AdWords, right? The bracket. So we want to use an exact match type. You want it to be as precise and focused in your Google AdWords campaign as possible. So I'm going to use exact and that would be the brackets around the keywords done. And then the next thing is the final URL. So this is the important part. So you're going to put your landing page URL as the destination URL in your AdWords campaign, like so. And then uh, here, uh, display path, um, you know, I don't uh, Amazon uh, monitor, monitor mount. Okay, secure. So it's going to ask for like three headlines. Uh, so secure. And then it's also going to ask for description. Um, hmm. uh, yeah, I hate uh, writing listing copies. Um, uh, maybe I could uh, maybe get to use that chat GPT. Speaking of chat GPT, um, I actually created a video about Zongaroo creating a very cool feature on chat GPT in terms of uh, listing optimization and listing creation. I'm not sure about you, as you can see, like, I struggle with the simplest uh, listing copies. So I think like leveraging chat GPT for this particular uh, area of Amazon selling is uh, great for people that are marketing handicapped such as me okay these one are um optional uh, you could actually add a call out basically additional information of your business uh, you could put your maybe your branded uh url 
uh, your phone number, your email, etc. You can click on done and uh, this is a preview of your ad and then you click on next and then this is the budget. I talked about that capping your budget. So I'm going to do uh, $5 a day next and then it's uh, automatically going to check whether you completed everything. Okay. Um, I think this is most, so there's an error. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's fine. Um, I think maybe like the budget is all too, maybe it's like too small. So maybe like 10 a day would fix that particular issue. So you're going to click on publish campaign. Done. So I think on uh, Google AdWords, they probably need like one or two days to review your uh, campaign before it gets published and be effective and your audience can potentially see your ad. So you can actually check out um, under landing page. Uh, so if you actually go to overview, you could actually preview your ads. Uh, if you click on it, it would go directly to your landing page. And then you can do, you're going to have your traffic, click on the claim code and then basically enroll and basically get their email. Once they get email, they would have their use code and then use the use code and redeem it. And it would send them to their Amazon attribution link where your attribution would be set up and your Amazon brand referral bonus here would be active. Right. And uh, when you're all that set up, somebody purchased using this link, this is how it's going to look on the dashboard that is um, attributed to an ad brand referral bonus. You can see here the total product sales coming from the AdWords traffic is around 8K. We're getting around 10% back from uh, brand referral bonuses, right? So this is the proper setup if you want to get that brand referral bonus from your off Amazon traffic. To end this video off, I just want to say that, you know, off Amazon traffic is really an integral part of Amazon selling in 2023, especially now that a lot of like the gray hair techniques in terms of ranking, such as uh, search find by super URLs are now officially black hat. But uh, for sellers though, that is able to really leverage and make this off Amazon traffic work, such as uh, Google AdWords that I kind of demonstrated here, make it work for them and also able to build this large email list using a software such as Landing Cube will be, you know, the obvious winners in the Amazon selling ecosystem. Okay, so I hope you uh, take a lot, take in a lot of good knowledge from this video and how to like build your own audience and also set up uh, your off Amazon traffic using Google ads. And uh, if you're looking to grow your business and audience using off Amazon traffic, check out Landing Cube. We are an Amazon specific landing page building software that allows you to collect emails and also monitor off Amazon traffic, such as Google ads, Facebook ads, TikTok ads, and Reddit ads. Sign up now and you will receive a 21 day trial at the link below. So until the next video drop, happy selling.